abide in abundancy here in this country. And I yield back the balance of my time. Mr. President. Senator from Illinois. Mr. President, uh, I want to join my colleague from Illinois, Senator Dixon, who earlier spoke about the Chicago Bulls. Now, this may be a strange subject to bring up on the floor of the United States Senate, but our society is made up of a great many facets, and it's not only the deadly serious, literally deadly serious things we talk about. It is also symphony orchestras, it is opera, it is movies, it is also athletics. And I note the presence of Senator Worth on the floor, and I'm sure in Denver they're paying a lot more attention these last few days to athletics because Denver becoming a major league team. But uh, while I confess I am more of a football fan than a basketball fan, I watched that game last night on television, uh, and uh, it was exciting, and it was great to see. But I think as important as anything, and the pride that provincially we have in Illinois and the Chicago Bulls, it is also great to see Michael Jordan and the players conduct themselves in a way that you, you, know, you want people to conduct themselves and as heroes for children, and that's what they are. Uh, I sat next to a 10-year-old on a plane coming out here, and he was wearing a Chicago Bulls hat. And uh, he, he actually was from Denver, Colorado. And uh, I said, you're a Bulls fan. Yeah, and he said, yes, anyone who's for the Lakers is weird. This was the 10-year-old said. Well, obviously, that is not the, the fact. But uh, it is, and, and maybe I'm a little old-fashioned, Mr. Mr. President, but it is great to see a Michael Jordan who conducts himself not only on, the, on that basketball court, but conducts himself off the court in a way that gives you great pride. So I simply want to join my colleague, Senator Dixon, in congratulating the Chicago Bulls. We're very, very proud of them in Illinois. Senator from Colorado. Mr. President, I ask uh, unanimous consent. Without objection, the President, Senator from Colorado is recognized. Lack of attention to a number of important issues, the so-called 100-hour, 100-day shill. As those of us uh, who've been working on this know, uh, we have been working through a highway bill. The, filibuster, of course, was led by a member of the Republican Party, and uh, also working on crime and civil rights legislation. And some of us believe, you know, we can accommodate that with the help of some of the constructive members on the other side and not get the uh, crime and civil rights issues all tangled up in the sort of dark side of American politics of 